Tip Tut. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Tut. Now, today we're looking at something a bit different, um, something I know that people have struggled with and asked me to, to do. Um, it's how to export a, a really good quality GIF um, from After Effects using Adobe Media Encoder because um, the GIF presets in there are absolutely terrible for modern day use. Uh, GIFs, what we're using for now, have changed completely over the past couple of years. Um, so I'm going to go through that now. I've finished creating uh, my GIF. I'm happy with it. It's just an animation in After Effects at the moment. Um, this is just a little, uh, a little motion graphic I did for a campaign in the UK called Safety Pin. Um, doesn't really matter what it is. It's just a GIF. It can be any GIF, any size, any shape. Although obviously the smaller the size, the better for GIFs because the file sizes can get very big very quickly. Um, now I've got my pre-composition, everything that I want. I've got all um, is ready to go. Um, I'm going to put safety pin into uh, Adobe Media Encoder. So I just need to um, make my After Effects over here so I can drag it and then take, grab the composition I want to use and drag it over to the queue. Now, if I just move this onto full screen so you can see a bit better. Now, uh, Media Encoder in CC is laid out a bit differently, but it's exactly the same functions as the previous versions. Um, as you can see at the moment, it's set to YouTube 60 FPS, a custom one that I've set up. Uh, we don't want that, we want it to be a GIF. So if you click inside here, the encoding um, options, which is currently at H.264, um, you want to ch change it to animated GIF. Um, now, as I said, the options in this are uh, fairly old. Um, sorry, it's just opened on the other screen. Um, and they don't actually fit what you currently want to use GIFs for. So if we pop over to the animated GIF, you can see for at the moment, for example, um, it's locked in at uh, certain settings. Now, I've actually made a custom preset. I'm not sure... Uh, if it has saved though, no, it hasn't. So we will start this again from scratch. Now, the original um, animation is actually in 60 FPS. Um, you can't do that on a GIF, no matter how hard you try. So over on the video sections where it currently says match source, you actually want to change this. So if you uncheck them, you can um, start editing the sections that you want. Um, you want to make sure basically that your width and height are the same size as whatever it is you're trying to export. Um, the work area, you can choose the start and finish. Um, and that's pretty much the basic settings. And that's universal. Everybody should understand that. What you actually want to do now is make sure that your frame rate is um, as close as to the original as possible. Now mine is 60, so I can safely half that and it'll still look all right. But, but as you can see, we don't have 30 here and you can't you choose to type it in. So the closest we can get is 25. Now, let me show you this field order. This is, um, you can ignore that, that's a separate issue. <laughs> um, this is the most important thing because it affects interlacing quite a lot. Now, as you can see, if I choose upper first, you can see that wherever there's motion, you get these odd kind of split lines. Um, same thing if you check lower first, um, which is probably what yours is going to be set to, one of those two. You want to make sure it's on progressive. And what this does is it processes it from the top left to the bottom right in order. So each frame, it goes all the way down. And that basically stops that interlacing from happening. Um, if you have interlaces as an option, you can choose that as well. Uh, and now the other most important thing is square pixels now when you load it you'll probably see something like that and it will give you some black bars and even though the width and height are set to the right amount it'll actually encode your video with black bars on the top now you need to make sure this is set to square pixels obviously mine has remembered it from the last time i tried this which is why it was already on it but yours will probably be on dv power or dv ntsc depending on where you're working from in the world um, square pixels is incredibly important because it allows you to have a perfect um representation of whatever shape it is so whatever shape your gif will you want to be it'll only be able to go to that shape exactly if it's on square pixels because it's entirely for digital output there's none of this ntsc pal sorry about that i keep popping up none of that actually matters um in uh, this scenario because it's for online exhibition um, you want to make sure render and maximum depth this checks that basically keeps the quality nice and high and use maximum render quality um, that's pretty much all there is to it so make sure once you've done that custom you save the preset and we can just say custom gif um, and hit ok and basically that makes sure it's saved all for next time so if we hit ok We'll pop back into the window and you can see now it's on custom GIF. We're going to want to put it in um, the folder on my Google Drive and we'll just hit encode. It should be fairly quick because it's quite a small file. Um, there may be some issues because obviously I've changed the frame rate from 60 to 25. Obviously, if your original was in 25, that won't be a problem at all. Now, if we can just click on the output file and drag this over here, 
we can actually preview that in the web browser and you can see it works absolutely fine. Um, it is a bit blurry because it's only 250 pixels and it's actually blown up a bit. But in the situation, that will look as best as you can get it, basically. Um, so that's all there is to it. That's exporting GIF using Adobe Media Encoder and After Effects. Of course, you can do that from Premiere. You can do that with any uh, Adobe software with a timeline, basically. Um, so it is up to you. Um, you can see I made a slightly bigger one before. This is 500 pixels in size. It still runs just as fine. And in my opinion, it looks a bit better because it's nice and big. Um, but that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.